So you're here on the E2 visa or would like to apply for an E2 visa, which is a non-immigrant visa for investors, but your ultimate goal is to apply for a green card. In this video, I'll tell you all the ways where an E2 visa holder can apply for a green card 2022-2023 edition. So if you're interested in this topic, I'll see you on the other side. Hello everybody and welcome back to Immigration Channel. This is the place we get the most up-to-date immigration news immigration information, and everything else that you need to make your immigration journey less stressful. My name is Jacob Sapochnik, and I'm an immigration attorney located in San Diego, California, and I help clients in all 50 states and all over the world. And we have a special dedication for investors, entrepreneurs who are coming to the United States. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to convert your E2 investor visa to a green card, which is a big question that a lot of our investors are asking. But before we do that, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos, and also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you. So, as you know, the E2 visa is a non-immigrant investor visa. This is a visa that allows investors from certain treaty countries, and I can link in the description of this video the list of countries that are eligible for the E2 visa, and you can see if your country qualifies, but essentially this allows you to come to the United States, invest some money in your business, typically it's around $100,000, and you can live here indefinitely. The E2 visa is renewable anywhere from two years to five years, and you keep renewing it as long as you have a business. However, investors that are here on the E2 visa are sometimes interested in applying for residency. Sometimes people get older, sometimes people feel that they're no longer interested to run their business, but they still want to live in the United States and maybe do something else. And therefore, the options to convert the E2 to a green card becoming very popular. And in this video, I wanted to summarize the most effective ways that I'm helping my clients in 2022 as we are moving towards fiscal year 2023 in immigration to help them and help you to get the green card outside of the E2 visa. So I'm gonna give you a few options and let's go through these options step by step. Number one option is through an employer-sponsored green card, also known as the PERM labor certification. So a lot of our investors are working in their own businesses, but they have clients, they have partners, they have people that they know in the United States, they have their own businesses. For example, we had a client that was a consultant. He had an E2, very successful E2 company for 10 years. He was a consultant in the space of IT, computers. He was working with a lot of companies, helping them set up their IT operations. Well, after a few years, one of his clients who liked him so much offered him to sponsor him for a green card. So what he did, he offered him a future position. He started the labor certification to go through the PERM labor certification by advertising the position in the papers, uh, by filing the labor certification, also known as PERM, testing the job market, interviewing US workers, realizing there's not enough qualified candidates that can do this job. And once that labor certification was approved, he was able to file for the immigrant visa for him, the I-140 with immigration. Now, while he was doing that, this consultant was still running his own E-2 visa. Remember, the green card through employer is a future position. You don't have to work for that employer right away. You could work for that employer if you filed for another visa, but he didn't have to do it. Once that I-140 petition was approved, then the employer filed an adjustment of status application for this E-2 visa holder. Now remember, throughout all this time, the employer had to prove that it was a genuine position, open position for that person, and that an employer was able and could afford that foreign national. As long as all these criteria were met, this application was approved, and only when that application was approved, that's when the E-2 holder started working for that employer because he already had a green card in hand. Now there are cases where the E-2 holder is not the actual main investor, because the investor, if he has a spouse, that spouse can work legally in the United States. So we have cases where the E-2 holder is not the principal, but the spouse gets the green card because the spouse is working for another employer, because the spouse is legally allowed to work for an employer. Once that employer is sponsoring the spouse, that spouse can now take the entire family, including the E-2 visa holder investor, and that's how it's another way for the investor to get a green card. So one way is where the actual investor is being sponsored by an employer, which is a future position. And the second option is where the spouse of the E2 visa holder gets a green card and takes the family with her at the end of the day. So number one option is to a green card sponsor through an employer. Number two option is 
permanent residency through the EB2 category of the National Interest Waiver. So for E2 clients that are highly skilled or hold advanced degrees, one of the most popular ways to get a green card is through the National Interest Waiver EB2 category. This allows you to file a self-petition. You don't need a job offer. Just because you have certain skills or because you have an advanced degree or because you've done something exceptional in your E2 business that we can show the government that you qualify for the green card based on national interest waiver. To get this green card, we have to prove a few things. First of all, is that your endeavor has substantial merit and national importance. Number two, that you, the foreign national, you are well positioned to advance this endeavor. Number three, on balance, it will be beneficial to the United States to waive the requirement of a labor certification that I described in the first example. So if you meet those three criteria, and of course you have other qualifications, you could apply for a self-petition. And i give you an example. We had a client who was an E2 with a bakery in Arizona. And this bakery was quite successful. And then he introduced a whole line of gluten-free products to help fight obesity or people that are celiac and have different allergies and different issues that prevent them from eating regular bread. And also other products that help people lose weight. Because of his efforts to fight obesity and promote health nationwide, these bakery products were sold in many, many stores, not just in Arizona. He was able to apply for National Interest Waiver without a job offer on his own while working on the E2 visa. Once the I-140 petition was approved, he don't need obviously labor certification, this applicant was able to get a green card for himself and his family just because of his accomplishments, just because of his achievements working on the E2 visa. By far, the best way to switch from an E2 to a green card is through the National Interest Waiver if you qualify. Final way is through a family sponsor petition. If the E2 applicant is, for example, not married and then he meets a US citizen, the US citizen can sponsor that E2 applicant and get a green card. Or for example, we have a lot of E2 applicants who come to the United States because their parents had work visas before and now their parents became US citizens. The E2 visa holders had to remain in the United States because they were children over 21. And now that the parents are US citizens, they are filing for their green cards. While the, while the process can take quite a few years, eventually they'll be able to get a green card if they don't find any other way to get a green card. So these are the top ways for E2 visa holders to apply for a green card. If you're currently on an E2 visa, I encourage you to send me a text 619-483-4549 and let's explore ways to help you get a green card. Once again, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.